Hi everybody, Carol here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing card number two of ten cards, or probably more, of the Simon Says Stamp July Card Kit. And this stamp set is called Be Yourself. And I'm doing the sentiment that says Be Yourself. And I'm going to stamp it off with some uh, Verse Fine Onyx Black Ink. And I'll make several copies of this, but uh, I'll show you this one right here. I'll cut it out and do some coloring with Prismacolors. I have backed it there with some bright yellow paper and just barely peeking through. I'm using, um, I think, a couple of colors of yellow and a couple of colors of orange just because I wanted to shade these big fat letters and... Um, it doesn't really show too much until you get it up close and you can tell that it has been shaded and since it's such simple coloring and I just wanted to go ahead and add a little more to it and that is actually a little blending pencil to kind of smooth it all together so um, the main thing I'm going to do and I will show you this up close and I will glue that down in a minute to the yellow piece and this will all have a black background. Now what I'm going to do and what I have done is cut with the dye in the kit of the honeycomb all different colors and some blacks and then you see what's left on the from the inside. Now I'll glue this down either with Tombow Mono Multi Glue or with the glue sponge that comes in the kit. Um, these are all different shades of yellows and oranges. They look as if some of them are the same but they aren't they're just very close in color and so I will glue these down and then go back and put the little individual hexagons inside their slots and just very sparingly here and there now I just put my Tombow glue and just made a dot in the center of one of the little openings and you can see one of them I left blank, some of them I put one color in, some of them I put two colors in. I'm just mostly wanting it to have that dramatic black showing through. And uh, it fits in nicely and I, I use my long tweezers there, it just makes it easier to fit them in. And um, then also you will see the little B over there that's been colored but we'll talk about that in a minute and um, I didn't show the coloring of it because this was originally going to be five cards as I explained in the last video uh, it um, disappeared mysteriously and I did show the coloring of the bees but yellows and oranges and then blues for the wings and uh, a black zig millennium pen for the stripes on the V and that one is just wanting to flip all the way from me. Wouldn't you know the one I would film would be the one that's going to flip everywhere. But here I am keeping it real. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, and then also um, to color in the little bees, uh, the Millennium Pen, to color in those little eyes to make them show more. But one of the things that I wanted to show, and there is the little bee again, and I will glue him down in just a minute, is... Um, that on that sentiment I, I did another version of it just cutting the word B out and it looks good too because the black shows through so well and uh, I'll use that on another project now I've got the glue on these and I'm gluing them down and one of the things I wanted to show was that little section in the bottom right that is a black honeycomb that you can't see against the black paper that's why I'm showing it to you but I'm going to fill that in solid with all these different colors of hexagons. I think there are seven. Yes, there are seven all together, and those are all different colors. And the reason I put the black honeycomb down is because it makes it so much easier to fill those colors in those slots. They just fit in like a puzzle. And uh, no guesswork then. It just fits right on in. Now, actually, uh, I was through with this, and I thought I'm going to just experiment and add another dimension. I used the leftover hexagons. I put one long strip of the Tombow Mono Multi Glue across the bottom and let it dry because then it is repositionable and if these don't line up I can take them off and put them back and take them off and put them off back. I've uh, 
color coordinated. I think I only used six colors on these and uh, did a repetition three or four times. And uh, But what I did was I lined the hexagons up with the straight side on the straight side of the paper on the side, literally on the side, and then the point goes down to the bottom and also uh, it can help you with the lining up and the placement because it touches the very bottom edge of the black paper. So one after another, I didn't want to bore you with that, but I'll show you. I sped it up greatly and just wanted to show you how that worked. So I'd be curious as to which one uh, you like better, uh, just plain or with this border. So let me know in the comments if you have time. But there you have it. Very quick, short video, but effective, I think, an effective card with the bright colors. And here are some steel shots. Now this is the one I did about a day and a half ago on the right. So you can go back and look at that one. I hope you enjoy and uh, hopefully we'll see you again real soon to finish out these 10 cards. See you then. Bye bye.